National Anthem. And is it up yet? It, we're on. All we're right. live. Can we get ready here? On the NFHS network. Only. <laughs> well. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> well, it's going to upset a few people that work. Well, well, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> Placencia come out here in just a minute to boot the opening kickoff to the Ganado Indians. Back deep is Austin Pena. Kyle Burris Guerrero back deep for the Indians now around their own 10 yard line. As they wait for Placentia's kick. Back deep with Indians number seven, Austin Pitt. So Placentia will do the kicking tonight. Yeah. All right. So as we wait for the clock to be reset. And as soon as we have 12 minutes on there, we'll be all right. There we go. There we go. And we are set for this regional semifinal. Placencia's well, got it teed up. And here we go from Hero Stadium. Placentius kick. Bounces through the end zone. Touchback. Be first and 10 Indians on their own 25 yard line. Takes the snap, keeps it, and is wrapped up immediately. Loss of a two. Back at the 23-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12 for the Indians. Guerrero, two receiver set. Back behind him. Puts a man in motion, takes the snap, hands it off up the middle. Drags up past the 30 yard line, up to the 30 is where they're gonna call it. So that'll bring up third and five for the Indians. Lucas Meza on the tackle. Three receivers set for the Indians now. Who ran that ball, Brendan, you remember? See his number? Uh, no, I did not. Hard to see these against that white pass to the far side. Caught. This is Ashton Strauss. And Strauss. <laughs> Try again. What? Try again next week. <laughs> what? The stats. Oh. <laughs> Don't give up and then give up about two minutes into the Never game. give up. <laughs> Fourth and five. No gain on that last run. So they will punt it away. Nobody deep for the Bobcats. So punt is away. It's gonna lob and bounce against this wind. And it is downed at the 44 yard line. So be first and 10 Referio from their own 44. 10-11 on the clock in this first quarter. Brown 
The three receiver set, two to the far side. From the first line to back to pass. Brown looking, throws it down to the far side. On the sideline incomplete. Brings up second and 10 for the Bobcats. Intended for Kai Whitmire. Chai, as they called him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a T. <tea. laughs> Second and 10. As Campbell comes out wide on the near side here. Whitmire on the far side. Brown under center. And a roll out to his right passes. Short pass intended for Caleb Heseltine, incomplete. Brings up third and 10 for Refurio. center, two receivers set, two backs. This is Jordan King, and he will pick up three yards up to the 47 yard line. That will bring up fourth and seven for the Bobcats. Isaiah Aver will come out to punt it away. The Indians will send Kane Hayden back to receive the punt. Back somewhere around his own 15 yard line. And we have a fake punt here, pass. That is come intercepted at the 42 yard line. Going to back it up to the 40. First and 10, Ganado from their own 40. 9-16 left in the first quarter here. Try trickery. A little bit of try trickery there. Didn't work. Turnover. Guerrero puts a man in motion, hands it off. Up the middle, this is not going to get anywhere. Lose a yard on this. Bring up second and 11 at the 39 yard line for the Indians. Clock continues to roll, 8.53 in count. First quarter. Put it right back on the 40, no gain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> second and 10. This is Callan Hajoski, and he will lose more yardage. About four, uh, Guerrero there on the keeper. All the way back to the 36 yard line. Bring up third and 14 for the Indians. Guerrero trips to the far side this time, one in the near. Back to pass, he looks, throws off to his right. This is caught. Oh, stayed on his feet. And it's finally brought down around the 32. So lost some more yardage there. So fourth and 18 now for the Indians at their own 32. 742 and counting in the first quarter here. Up back to punt. Nobody deep for the Bobcats. Goes up against the wind, wind pushes a little, takes a bounce backwards, down at about the 37 yard line. First and 10, Refurio at their own 37.
First and 10. Brown. Two receivers set. Hands this off to Avery, or I'm sorry, this Bland up the middle. Bland fights his way to the 41 yard line. Gain of four, brings up second and six for Referio. Seven minutes and counting here in the first quarter. Brown under center. Is this off? Looks like King and King will lose a yard up to the 40 yard line. Brings up third and seven for the Bobcats. Clock continues to tick away, 620. Third and long here for the Bobcats. Two receivers on either side. Brown pitches back, it's Bland. Bland is forced out of bounds at about the 42, around the 43. Looks like the 42 yard line. So fourth and five for the Bobcats. It's Isaiah Avery will go back to punt for the Bobcats. But he punts this time. And Hayden is back deep for the Indians. Takes a bobcat bounce, rolls down inside the 15 yard line. So first and 10 for the Indians at their own 13 yard line. 546 left in this first quarter. Receiver set here. Three receiver sets, sorry, two to the far side. And he's gonna bring his second receiver down to the near side. In motion. Guerrero. Guerrero keeps it. Runs around near the near side around the end, but cannot get around there. And he's brought down at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second and 10 for the Indians. Clock down to 525 now and counting. Second and 10. Guerrero closes up his backs. Next to the sideline. Direct snap. This is Dylan Holt, and Holt will get up to the, near the 19 yard line. Brings up third and about four for the Indians. Two receivers to the near side now for Guerrero. out to the near side is caught at the 20 brought down near the 23 24 yard line and that will be an Indian first down first and 10 Indians at their own 24 yard line 425 left to play here in the first quarter Receiver set for Guerrero, two to the far side. Guerrero keeps it, goes up the middle. 
and gets up near the 28 yard line. This will be second and six at the 28. Four minutes and counting in the first quarter. Switches his back, takes the snap, gonna keep it, run off the right tackle here. I may have picked up one, picks up two, up to the 30. Second and four, or third and four, sorry. 325 and counting in the first quarter here. Rolls out to his right, looking, throws. This is intercepted. Campbell. And Campbell gets away from a few tacklers and gets inside the 30. Up to about the 28 yard line, first and 10, Referio. As Campbell intercepts that pass and takes it to the Indian 28 yard line. First and 10. 2.59 left in the first quarter. Brown, three receivers set, two to the near side. Takes a snap, looks. Throws down the middle towards the end zone. It's gonna be way over Campbell's head. Incomplete. Second and 10. Off to Jordan King. King comes near the near side. Just still gets away down inside the 20, the 10, down the sideline. Touchdown, Referio. Nice run, 28 yards for Jordan King with 241 left to play in the first quarter here. Bobcats find the end zone first. Placencia comes out to attempt the extra point. Alex Placencia to attempt the extra point. Out of the hole, the number two, the child of the wire. Still that guy to say his name. Right. We'll tell him. Oh, blocked. He's down, and an Indian caught it. I don't see who, but he is tackled at the six. So no good on the right, so it'll be six to zero. Referio in the lead, 241 left in the first quarter. We'll take a short break, be right back, NFHS, stay with us. Cynthia set to kick off again for the Bobcats. 2.41 left in the first quarter here. 6 0 referee leads. Awesome. 
down deep. Guerrero and trying to see who that is. I think it's Austin Pena. And this will bounce into Pena's hands at about the 12. Pena will get up to the 25 and is brought down at the 26 yard line. First and 10, Ganado from their own 26. Now they mark it at the 27. <laughs> wow. First and 10. Guerrero, puts a man in motion, keeps it, runs, off the, runs up the middle, and is surrounded around the 31 and down. We'll bring up. Second and six for the Indians here. Locked down to 210 and counting in the first quarter. The row of three receiver set two to the near side here. Looks, throws to the far side. This is caught up around the 35. Ashton Strauss making the catch there. Bring up third and two for the Indians. Ball at the Ganado 35 yard line. Guerrero again running off to the right. Picks up the first down. First and 10, Ganado at the 38 yard line. Clock down to 120 and ticking. Direct snap. And that is Vince Sablatura. And he'll pick up four. Bringing up second and six. Ganado's moving the ball on the field or not? Uh, up to the 42 yard line. Yes, they are on the ground. Guerrero hands this off to Sablatura. Sablatura gets up to about the 46. Brings up sec or third and two for the Indians. Ball at the 46. Clock continuing to run. And they're gonna let this first quarter tick on out. No, time out. Oh no, they're gonna let it run. They're gonna let the clock run. Let the clock run it on out. That'll be the end of the first quarter here from Hero Stadium. 6-0 referral leads. We'll be right back in FHS for the start of the second quarter. Stay with us. at Heroes. Beginning of the second quarter here, referral lead 6-0. Ganado on the move. Got a scoring update, Billy. Shiner seven, Flatonia zero with about three minutes to go in the first quarter. Timpson's up on Centerville seven to zero also starting the second quarter. Wow. Third and two for the Indians here. Three receiver set, two to the far side for Guerrero, one back with him. He waits for the call from the sideline, gets it. Guerrero 
And this off to Sablatur. Sablatur off the right tackle. And we'll get a yard out of this. So it brings up fourth and one for the Indians. Big decision here, huh? Oh, yeah. Fourth and one. I believe they'll go for it. I think they will, too. Hayden comes out onto the field. <laughs> A lot of kids coming in and out off yeah. the field. And here we go. Guerrero under center, probably going to keep her. And he does, but it doesn't look like he's going to get it. Nope. He is going to be short. No gain on the play. So it'll be turnover on downs, first and 10 Refurio at the Ganado 47 yard line. So Refurio makes a stop. Brown. Two receiver set, two backs. Under center. Brown. Looks to pass. Has to get away. And throws it towards the sideline. That's going to be out of bounds. Incomplete. Second and ten for the Bobcats. Receiver set this time, two to the near side. Brown hands it off to Bland. Bland blasts his way close to the 41 yard line. So that will bring up second and four for the Bobcats at the in Indian 41 yard line. Clock. Running 10-40 and counting in this first half. So timeout has to be called by Referio. They had a little trouble finding spots here. We will stick with it. Six to zero. 10 20 left in the first half. Refer your leading. And second game of the day for us. It's been called the Lano Industrial Game earlier today from here at Heroes. Lano advancing. Looks like they'll take on Edna next week. I believe they're up right now. Edna is playing as we speak. Edna is winning against Blanco. Just across town from us, over to the west. And here we go, third and four for Referio here. It off to Avery. Avery bounces off to the far side. It's Bland. And now, oh, Bland. There's a flag down. There's a flag down right in the backfield there. Zaya Bland holding on Refurio.
Some discussion on the far side. I don't know about what. There's a penalty on the play. Was holding Orfurio. Ball is sitting at the 44. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know either. So uh, it'll be third and about 14 for the Bobcats here. Back at their own 49 yard line after that holding call. Clock down to 9.50. Trips to the near side here for Brown. Brown goes to his left, looks, and is wrapped up and brought down. Law is loose. I don't believe he was down. He was down on the ground. They're going to give the ball to They're going to give the ball to Ganado. First down, Ganado. Looked like he was down, but they're going to call it a fumble and a recovery. First and 10, Ganado at the Referio 43-yard line with 9.39 left to play in the first half here. Direct snap up to Sabaturi. Gets up to about the 38, it looks like. This is whistles and more whistles. I don't see a flag down. Nope, no flag. One of the players lost their helmet, and that's what the whistles was oh, okay. about. But the clock stopped. Sabaturi. Yeah, he stopped Here the clock. Go. From the 38, second and five for the Indians. Guerrero looking to pass, throws. This is caught at about the 34. And out of bounds at the 30. Kane Hayden on the reception there. First and 10 Indians at the Referio 30 yard line. Guerrero is gonna keep it, runs to the left side, open field, gets to the sideline and out of bounds around the 15. That'll be another first down for Ganado. First and 10 from the Referio 15 yard line. Ganado moving, 8.48 left in the second quarter. Two receiver set, three receiver set, two to the near side for Guerrero. Guerrero. That's the call. Guerrero, oh, straight ahead to Sablatura once again. And that is not Sablatura, that is Dylan Holt, and he'll get up to the 14. Brings up second and nine. For the Indians. Clock down to 820 and counting. Benito, three receiver set. Guerrero looks, throws, and in and out of the hands of Luke Butters. Incomplete, third and nine at the 14 for the Indians. There we go. 
Guerrero takes the snap. Looks like he's gonna keep it, runs to the far side, gets hung up, and is surrounded by orange jerseys. Grabbed him long enough to get other people over there. At the 16 yard line, loses a couple on this, and it'll bring up fourth and 11. Field goal? Mm, I don't know, we'll see. They got the wind on their side. Why not? Change. What? I said why not? And I believe that's what they're going to do. Is they're going to try the field goal. A 34-yard attempt. Joe Rodriguez to attempt the field goal. Joe Rodriguez kicking. Kick is away and doesn't have it. Misses. In doesn't make it six to zero. The score remains. Referio lead seven twenty two. Left in this first half. So the ball be first and ten. Referio from their own twenty yard line. The referee got him a towel. Did you see that? See that. <laughs> First and 10 for Referio. Three receiver set, two to the near side. Bland, the lone back, takes the handoff. It's off the right tackle, moves the ball up to about the 23. He's at Bland with the carry. Three yard gain, second and seven. Adam Tristan on the stop. I don't know why it's on third down. They have the marker down there on third down. Pressed it one too many times. Yeah. There he fixed it. Second and seven for the Cats. Ball on the 23. Brown under center. Rolls out to his left, looks, throws in the middle of the field. And that is Campbell had it. Knocked out of his hands by Luke Burris to bring up third and seven for the Cats. 6.39 left in the first half. Trips to the near side here for the Bobcats. Hands it off to Jordan King. Comes near the near side here. And stumbles and falls out at about the 37 yard line. First down. Referio. First and 10 from their own 37. Clock down to 625 and counting in this first half. Brown looks, throws to the right. That is complete to Campbell at the 42. So bring up second and five for Referio. Clock down to 540 and counting. Brown, and around by Campbell. Here comes Campbell to the near side. And Campbell will get to the original line of scrimmage. No gain, third and five. Clock down to five, oh five, and counting.
trips to the near side here for Furio. Jordan King takes the run, gets up past midfield, down to the Ganado 49 yard line, first and 10 Bobcats. 4.38 left in the first half. No, number two. First and 10, ball at the Ganado 49. Brown looks to the far side, throws. This is intercepted by Ganado, and Ganado will score on a pick six. And that is Luke Burris there on the interception. Ran right in front of Campbell and took it away and took it all the way to the house. With 4.06 left to play in the first half, the Indians score on an interception return. Joe Rodriguez comes out to boot the extra point. Nothing but daylight in front of him when he caught that nothing, pass. Nothing, nothing in front of him. Ball is up and good. Ganado takes the lead, seven to six here. 4.06 left in the first half. NFHS will be back right after this. Stay with us. Stadium, Ganado takes the lead seven to six with 406 left in the second quarter here. Rodriguez, Rodriguez will tee it up. Back deep is Isaiah Bland and Ernest Campbell. Back deep to receive the kick. Ganado intercepting and returning it for a touchdown to take the lead. Bland will take this at the 25 but is immediately tackled. So it'll be first and 10, Referio at their own 25, with 4.02 left to play in the first half here. Score update, Shiner seven, Flatonia seven. Seven minutes. <laughs> it's almost equal to this game. Almost identical. Of course, they mirrored us all year long too. Yeah. Trips to the near side here for Referio. Timeout, Ganado. We'll take a short break, be right back. Stay with us here from Hero Stadium. Stadium. 402 left to play here in the first half. Ganado leads by one point, seven to six. Furio is first and ten from their own 25. They'll have the same setup they had before the timeout. Trips to the near side. King in the backfield. 
Brown under center now. Puts a man in motion. Hands it off to King. King finds a little seam on the right side and gets up to about the 34. Jordan King with the carry. Make it second and one for Referio. Ball at the 34. Clock down to 340 and counting. Brown, King again, coming off the left side, is tackled in the backfield down near the 31. Loss of four. Third and four for the Bobcats. Three minutes and counting left to play in the first half. Brown under center again. Puts Campbell in motion. Hands it off to King again. King finds a little open on the left side and brings it up to about the 42 yard line. First and 10, Bobcats. Clock at 2.45. Starts to roll again. First and 10. Two receiver set for Referio. Brown, hand off, up the middle. And this will get up to the 46 yard line. So brings up second and about six. Meza on the carry. Brown, Meza again, Meza barrels up to about the 49. Forward progress gives him about three yards. Third and three. For the Bobcats, ball at their own 49. Clock down to one minute and 45 seconds and counting in the first half. Brown will hand this off, and that is King, and King will get into Ganado territory here, up to the 44, first and 10 at the Indian 44 yard line. Hurry up offense. Spikes the ball, stops the clock at 122. Second and 10. Of course, Bobcats will get the ball to start the second half. Right. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> We're going to go into halftime with a lead. Or Referio is going to go into halftime with a lead when they score here in just a moment. <laughs> Wishful thinking, right? Trips to the far side. King takes it to the right side like that. Maybe gets about a yard. A forward progress. Surprised I hadn't seen a flag yet. Yeah, surprised we haven't. Some upset fans. <laughs> Some displeasure coming from the stands there. Brings up third and nine for the Bobcats. Three receiver set, two to the far side for Brown. Brown drops back, throws to the near side to Avery. Avery still on his feet. It's Bland. Oh, Bland. I want to, why do I keep saying Avery? <laughs> He's about three feet shorter than Avery. Well, I know, all the Averys. <laughs> Bland takes it up to about the 32. First and 10, Bobcats. 36 seconds of timeout, Referio. We're going to stick with it. As we only have 36 seconds left in the first half here. Referio trying to get down into the end zone. A 
going against the wind. So that's why you haven't seen any long passes this direction. Bill, we've called referral games all year long. When do you remember them going into halftime down? Hitchcock. Last, last, <laughs> yeah, that's the only time. Were they down at half? Well, I think yeah. they were down at halftime against Hitchcock, the very Hitchcock, first game of the year. First game of the year, yeah. Edna, they might have been down. Uh, Maybe it was tied. I can't remember. I, I think it was pretty close, but we were ahead. First and 10 at the Ganado 32 yard line. 36 seconds left to the half here. Bobcats trying to get another score to get the lead back. Drops back the pass. Brown throws it way down into the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Touchdown, Referio. Isaiah Avery hauling that one in. Now you can call his name. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know what's kept gotten me calling Bland Avery. <laughs> Have another timeout? It's a weird time for a timeout, isn't it? Who called a timeout? I think Referio did. Why? And they get, maybe they need to talk to him. Maybe they're going to go for two. I smell a two-point conversion coming. You think? Good. Would maybe they'd be smart to do that. Yeah. Get that missed extra point. The rain has stopped here in San Antonio at the moment. Knock on wood, Billy. Yeah, it's matter of fact the fog has even cleared up a bit. With this wind, it should be drying out down there pretty good. Now we still have a pretty good wind coming out of the north, I guess. Oh, yeah. Chilly, chilly football weather here at Hero Stadium in San Antonio. I mean, it is November the 25th, I mean. <laughs> All these close games have night. You have to blame it on the turkey from yesterday. <laughs> and they are going for two. Brown under center. Keeps it, throws, and this is knocked down. No good. So Referio takes the lead, 12 to 7, with 27 seconds left, and they will get the ball to start the second half. Twenty-seven seconds left to play here in the first half. Mm -hmm. And you know, the first game we called today was a tie at halftime. So around this time of year, around this time of the playoffs, it gets a little tougher. And Ganado's a district opponent. They came in fourth place in our district. Right. And or in referral them just We played them the final game of the regular season. We won that game 52 to 26. Just three weeks ago. But playoffs change everything. It's a different attitude, different oh, yeah. mentality. Win or go home. That's right. You know, that's it. If you lose this, it's, you go home. Placentia has the ball teed up. Back deep is Guerrero. And Pena deep for the kickoff, down around their own 10. Here comes Placencia against the wind. Still a good kick, fielded at the 15 by Pena. Pena finds a seam around, still gets loose up to the 35. Spin still up and is finally brought down around the 35 yard line. Brought down finally by James Jimenez. First and 10 Indians, 18 seconds left in the first half. So they'll get a play. Yeah. 
So you do final play of the first half. You just haul off and throw it as far as you yeah, can just throw. Just chunk it. I mean, they got <laughs> the wind with them. Right. Trips to the far side. One receiver to the near side. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Guerrero hands it off. Up the middle. <laughs> just content to let the time run out. Yeah. Dylan Holt will pick up about three. Second and seven. Six seconds left and counting. And they are going to try to get a playoff. They do hand off to the near side. Let's and go to halftime, Billy. It is now halftime here at Hero Stadium. Referio leads 12 to 7 over Ganado. NFHS will take a little break and then we will show the bands, but you will not be able to hear them. So enjoy halftime and we'll see you for the second half. Stay with us.
Back here at Hero Stadium as the referral Bobcats about to take the field for the second half. They are up 12 to seven. And here comes the referral Bobcats. Ganado hasn't come out of their locker room yet. Now they're starting to come out here now. Here they come. Ganado, now making their appearance. Glad you're able to join us here at NFHS for this regional semifinal. A lot of regional semifinals happening all around us, down the road, across the city here in San Antonio. And Referio will get the ball to start the second half. According to Gary Bellows, a statistician for Refurio. It's pretty important to get ahead on Ganado because that rain is coming. Yeah, here comes Ganado. Held a short lead a little while ago, seven to six. And Refurio was able to score again before the half. Campbell and Bland will head out here in just a second for their post. They'll be deep for the Bombcats. Joe Rodriguez comes out to tee it up. You're setting the game clock. Well, they got it counting down at the halftime. Oh, it's still halftime. So they're going to reset it to 12 minutes. There you go. Rodriguez has the ball teed up. Joe Bl Rodriguez to kick off. Bland and Campbell back deep around the Bobcat 20 yard line. Kick is up, and Bland will get this at about the 26. Runs through a hole, comes to the near sideline, across the midfield, and is forced out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. First and 10, Referio in Indian territory. It's pushed out by Joe Rodriguez. First down. First and 10. Three receiver set for Referio. Bland back with Brown. Brown drops back to pass, looks, throws it deep, and this is caught. Oh, he's going to say incomplete, caught it out of bounds. Incomplete. It'll be second and ten for the Bobcats. It's a nice play. It was a beautiful play. Brown under center. Trips to the near side. Hands it off. This is King. King runs it to the near sideline and out of bounds at the 27. First and 10 at the Ganado 
27 yard line. Nice run by King. Brown off to Bland. No, this is the other Brown. It's Caleb. Caleb. And Caleb gets to the 11 yard line, first and 10 from the 11. Frills moving the ball here on Ganado. Yes, they are. Trips to the far side for Furio. Caleb, or Brown under center, hands it off to King. King gets stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about three. Second and 13. Ball sits at the 14 yard line. Brown puts a man in motion, hands it off. This is Kai Whitmire, Kai Whitmire, touchdown, Referio. Nice run, 14 yards out. 10-18 left in the third quarter and Referio strikes. So Placencia will come out and attempt the extra point. Start on Referio, they'll move it back. So he'll be kicking right at the fifteen. Kick is up and good. 19-7 now the score here. Referio leads with 10-18 left in the third quarter. NFHS will take a short break. Be right back right after this. Stay with us. Stadium, Referio strikes again at the start of the second half. 19 to seven, now the lead. As Placencia tees it up. Guerrero and Pena back deep for the Indians. Placencia boots this. Going to bounce into the end zone. Touchback. First and 10, Ganado from their own 25. Guerrero 
Start off their first series of the second half. Three receiver set, two to the far side. Direct snap to Sablatura. And Sablatura will get up to about the 26 or 27 yard line. So they'll bring it to second and eight. They do have a player down. They have an official timeout. We'll take a short break and be right back right after this. Stay with us. here at Hero Stadium. Sablatura has helped off the field. I hope everything is okay with him. Second and eight for the Indians. Guerrero takes the snap, keeps it, tries to run up the middle. Picks up Bruce two. Bruce up to the 29-yard line. Bring up third and about six for Ganado. 9.35 and counting here in the third quarter. Guerrero looking to pass. Rolls out to his right. Under pressure throws. And this is in and out of the hands of his receiver. Incomplete. So that will bring up fourth and six. Morganado ball on their own 29. So their punting crew will come out. Blinkenberg back to punt. And we have a timeout on the field. Ganado will keep it here. 9-14 left in the third quarter, 19-7, Referio leading. Grenado was set to punt. Did they take a timeout? Nobody back deep for Referio. No. <laughs> Blankenberg to punt. All right, long punt. This is going to take a Ganado bounce down to about the 27 yard line. 28, that is. This will be first and 10 Referio from their own 28 yard line. 9.04 left in the third quarter. First and 10 for Referio. Two receivers set up to the far side. King behind Brown. It's a man in motion. Hands it off to King. King runs off to the left side. Oh, and gets tripped up around the 30. Falls onto the 29 yard line. Pick up of three, second and seven. 
for the Bobcat. Receiver to the far side for Referio this time. Is it off to Bland? Bland off the left side. And Bland will get up to about the 35 yard line. So that'll bring up third and three for the Bobcats at their own 35. Eight minutes and counting here in the third quarter. Outs, Campbell and Whitmire. Brown under center. Hands that off to King. King. King gets up to about the First 39. Down, First and 10, Bobcats at the 39. Seven twenty five and counting. Bland rolls out to his right, looks, gets into trouble, short pitch to the sideline, incomplete. Brings up second and ten for the Bobcats. Pass intended for number twelve, Caleb, Caleb Hamilton. Trips to the near side for Referio. Brown under center. King behind him. Hands it off to King. King goes up the middle. And King will get up to about the 42. Jordan King with the carry. Maybe the 43. Looks like the 43. Landed Brings up hit. second, or third, and about six. For the Bobcats, ball at the 43. 6.45 and counting in the third quarter here. Brown under center. Hand this off to Brown. And Brown gets up to about the 47. Make it fourth and two for the Bobcats. Just short of a first down, so it brings up forty one and a half. Ball closer to the forty eight. I believe it fourth and one. Now under six minutes in the third quarter. The receivers out, three backs behind Brown. King off the left side, gets loose, down to the 30, 20, 10, and King will go into the end zone, touchdown. 52 yards for the touchdown for King with 535 left in the third quarter. here. We'll set up for the extra point. Punt is blocked. The kick is blocked. So no extra point there either. 25 to seven now the Referio lead with 5.35 left to play in the third quarter. NFHS will be right back right after this.
care from Hero Stadium. 25 to seven, Referio now leads with 5.35 left in the third quarter here. And the Bobcats get set to kick it back off to Ganado. back deep for the Indians. That's the long kick, this is gonna go off into the end zone. Touchback. First and 10 Indians from their own 25. 535 left in the third quarter here. Winner of this game will face the winner of the Flatonia Shiner game, and Shiner is leading right now. 21 to seven in the third quarter, Billy. 21 seven, Shiner in the third. <laughs> Mirror in this game almost <laughs> exactly. Guerrero, it's man in motion. And uh, that's the motion. Flags come out be a false start. Oh. Substitution infraction. Yes. Did get him off the field in time or what? I guess not. So back to the 20 is first and 15 for the Indians. Guerrero will keep this, tries it up the middle and just runs into a wave of Bobcats. You go up the middle, there's nowhere to go. Nope. Clock down to 515 and counting in the third quarter. He did gain a yard. He gained a yard. Second and 14 for Ganado. Looking to pass, but chops it off to the near side. This is incomplete. Actually, okay, they're gonna call it. He did catch it. Campbell did catch it. Yes, he did catch it. I thought he was still in bounds when he caught it, but he's pointing to the video board. That can't help you. Nope. <laughs> Only at the state games and replays available. That's right, third and 14 for the Indians now. Ball at their own 21. Four receiver set, two to each side. Guerrero gets into trouble quick and is brought down around the 16 yard line. A full loss of five. That being fourth down and a long ways. Fourth and 19. Billy, it looks like the Shiner Flatonia game's in a lightning delay. A lightning delay? Well, how scary is that? Where are they playing? Uh, good question. Hallettsville. Really? In a lightning delay? Wow. Punt away, almost straight up. Wynn caught that one big. Bounces at the 45 and is downed at the 43. First and 10 referio from the Ganado 43 yard line. 403 left in the third quarter here. At the 43, 403 left. Man, that's a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Even numbers can be a tongue twister. First and 10, Referio. Three receiver set for the Bobcats. Game behind. Brown, Brown, throws.
throws it deep down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Referio. Well, the referee fell down. The referee down. fell down. As Campbell caught that in the end zone, the referee actually fell. The turf monster got him. That's right. That big OT in the end zone grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> 354 left. And the Bobcats are on the board again. Placencia out for the extra point. Kick is up and good. 32 to seven here in Hero Stadium. Referio leads. 3.54 left in the third quarter. We'll take a short break, be right back right after this. Stay with us, NFHS. Here at Heroes, 32 to seven now. Referio leads with 3.54 left in the third quarter. Alex Placencia ready to kick it. I'd like to welcome all those that were watching the Shiner game, now watching the Referio game. <laughs> yeah. Placencia's kick will be fielded at the five. Fair caught. will bring it up, 25 yard line, first and 10, Ganado. Gotta be honest, I'm watching the Shiner game right here at the referral game. <laughs> That's how we knew what was happening, folks. Multitasking. <laughs> First and 10, four receiver set for Ganado. Guerrero hand this off. Off the right side, finds a hole. And all the way up to the 37 yard line. Dylan Holt. First and 10 Indians, quick offense. Trips to the near side. Guerrero throws it to the right, in and out of the hands of his receiver, incomplete, second and 10. Second and 10 here. Guerrero hands it off. Up the middle, goals Holt. And he will get up to about the 44 yard line. Brings up second or third. And about four for the Indians. 306 and counting in the third quarter here. Guerrero. Timeout, Ganado, and we'll take a short break as well and be back right after this. Stay with us in FHS. Coming back here 
at Hero Stadium. Third and four for the Indians. Ball at their own 43 yard line. Carrero. Carrero does a little switcheroo. Carrero back to pass, gets in trouble quick, throws, and a wobbler hits the ground. Incomplete, fourth and four. It doesn't seem like Rafael's running all the plays that they're known to run, though, tonight. No. Fourth and four here. Guerrero going for it. Guerrero looks to throw. Throws into a crowd. Incomplete. Ball will go over on downs. First and 10, Refurio. At the Ganado 43 yard line. 247 left in the third quarter here. 32 7 the lead by Refurio. Spreads out the plan. Brown under center. Hands this off to Bland. I know that's Brown. No, it is Bland. He got his, got his jersey stretched. The four looked like a nine almost. Bland doing some talking there. You see his helmet shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Hang grabbed out there. Grabbed him by the head and <laughs> said, Quiet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. Stop talking. <laughs> Bland gets it up, gets a first down. Now down to the Ganado 28 yard line. Clock down to 215 here in the third quarter and counting. And a timeout. Timeout Referio. We'll take a short timeout as well. Stay with us here from Heroes. Be back in just a moment. Back here at Hero Stadium, 2-10 left in the third quarter here. First and 10, Referio at the Ganado 28-yard line. Brown up under center, three backs behind him. Shift, and off. Straight up the middle, sneaks in. And that is Lucas Meza, I believe. And Lucas Meza will score for Referio from 28 yards out with 2.02 left in the third quarter here. So I guess the halftime adjustments worked. Something happened in that locker room. <laughs> All right. Placencia out to kick the extra point. Kick is away. And it is good. 39 to 7. Now the referee will lead with 202 left in the third quarter here. We'll take a short break. Be right back. Yeah, right we got, this. A, got, a, got a flag on the field, Billy. Whoa, we got a before flag we, down. Before we go anywhere. Uh, this may be assessed on the kickoff. I don't know. We'll see. They're discussing. It's going to be on Sportsman Light. Like. 
field goal is good. Whoa, personal foul on Ganado. That'll be assessed on the kickoff. We'll take a short break. Be right back right after this NFHS. here at Heroes, 39 to seven. Now the referee will lead, 202 left in the third quarter. Uh, so they will assess this. They take it from the 40 and the Bobcats will be kicking from the Ganado 45 yard line. Well, this is gonna go through the uprights. Yeah, this will be, this one will land somewhere in Seguin. <laughs> <laughs> Placentius has his shorts on. Nice kickoff. It almost does go through that right. Touchback. First and 10 Indians at their own 25. 202 left in the third quarter here. Three receivers set, two backs. One back, sorry. Direct snap. That is Dylan Holt. And Holt will pick up a yard, maybe. Up to the 26 yard line. Second and nine. Now under two minutes and counting. It's been a long third quarter. A <laughs> real long third quarter. <laughs> We've been out here forever. Guerrero takes the snap, hands it off, pitch back to Guerrero. Guerrero throws, open field, catch at the 50-yard line. This is Holt, and Holt will get way deep and is finally brought down at the, the 10. What? They called something. Half the distance to the goal line. They called it on Referio, and I guess it's half the distance from where they're at, so that's going to be on the five. Does it happen after the play? Or during the play? I don't know. I didn't even see the flag. He was calling it before the whistles were blown. <laughs> so first and goal for the Indians at the Referio five-yard line. 106 left in the third quarter here. So Guerrero will keep this, but he will get up to the four. So he picks up one. So second and goal from the four. Guerrero, 
Guerrero keeps this again, and he gets up to about the two-yard line. Time's clicking away, 15 seconds. 15 seconds left in the third quarter here. Third and goal from the two. And it looks like this quarter will go down in the books before they get a playoff. And that is it for the third quarter here. Third quarter, 39 to seven, Referio leads. Indians, for third and goal at the two. As we'll stick with it here as they switch sides. Winner of this game plays the winner of the Shiner Flatonia game, which is still in a delay, I believe. I don't know. Ryan's gonna check that out. Still in delay. Still in a weather delay there. Ferio carries this out and Shiner continues their lead there. It'll be the second meetup of Referio and Shiner next week if things continue the way they are. Twelve more minutes of football here at Hero Stadium. Third and goal at the two for the Indians. This is handed off to Corbin Teague, who I do not think made it to the goal line. Gets up to the one. Fourth and goal from the one. We don't see this often. No. Fourth and goal from the one. This will be a keeper. And I don't think he got in. I don't believe he got he in. He did not get in. It'll be first and ten for Referio at the one. Goal line stance. So Referio holds him. It's at the actually six inch line. Looks like inches from the goal line there. So here Referio is going to have to get out of this hole. First and 10 from the one. I don't know why he has the four still on the down marker. Brown under center. And I think Jordan King. And he gets up to the three. Be second. And about seven for Referio. Brown under center. Three backs behind him, hands it off to Bland. Bland finds a hole and gets up beyond the 10, up to the 11. That'll be a first down. First and 10, Referio at the 11. 10.35 and counting. Left to play here. First down to Three backs behind the Brown. Be King. 
And King pushes up to about the 22. First and 10. Oh, it's Keelan Brown carrying that. Or Caleb. Caleb. Gets up to the 22, first and 10. 9.45 and counting left to play here at Hero Stadium. Same setup here, three backs behind Brown. Pitch back to Bland. Bland finds a seam here, gets away, and is finally pulled down around the 42. First and 10, Referio now at the 42. Got an injury timeout. It gets up good. I don't know who the. <laughs> Wasn't much of an injury off the field already. 9 19 and counting. Left to play here. First and 10 at their own 42. Bobcats. Three back set. Behind Brown. This is King. King will spin his way past midfield and is finally brought out of bounds at about the Ganado 46 yard line. 8.54 left to play. Brown hands it off. Caleb Brown forces his way inside the 40 up to the 39. Brings up second and about three for the Bobcats. Eight minutes and counting left to play. And I guess it's safe to say the turkey jitters are over. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> From the first half. Hand off. Up the middle. And there is Meza with his second touchdown. From 39 yards, Refrio is in. 7.34 left in the game here, and Refrio finds another touchdown. As Placencia will attempt the extra point. Yeah, the breeze has really died down. Calm before the storm. <laughs> Must be the one that's happening down in Hallettsville right now. Kick is up and good. 46 to 7 now. The referee lead was 734 left to play. We'll take a short break. Be right back from Hero Stadium, NFHS. Stay with us. here at Hero Stadium. 7.34 left to play here. 
Referio leads 46 to seven. As Placencia has it teed up, ready to send it down to Guerrero and Pena, waiting patiently around their own 10 yard line. Kick is away, nice and long. Fair caught around the 10. First and 10, Ganado at their own 25 yard line. 7.33 left to play. Side goes Guerrero. Ganado just can't seem to get that offense going. Yeah. First Guerrero with the quarterback. I mean, the he touchdown that scored was from the defensive side. <laughs> he picks up three. So it'll be second and seven for the Indians. Ball at their own 28 yard line. Clock down to seven minutes and counting. Full receiver set for Ganado. Guerrero throws it to his right and is caught at about the 30. Clayton Wibernick. Wibernick hauling that in. Brings up a third and five. For Ganado. Ball on their own 30. Clock down to 620 and counting. A toss that is going to fall to the ground and complete. Brings up fourth and five for the Indians. With that wind on their back, throwing a deep. Oh no. They are gonna go for it. Four receivers at two to each side. Guerrero looking to pass, throws in the middle of the field. This is intercepted by Branson Boxel. And Branson Boxel will run around to the far side. Gets inside the 35 yard line, down to about the 31 yard line. It's be first and 10, Referio at the Ganado 31. 556 left to play here at Hero Stadium. And Referio has taken control fairly quickly in this second half. And continues to control. Stop that, Billy. All that yawning over there. I was just opening my mouth wide. It wasn't a yawn. <laughs> <laughs> nice toss out to Brown here. He will, or Jaden Lewis. He'll get up to the 26, 27 yard line. Brings up a second and about six for the Bobcats. Clock down to 530 and counting. Oh, 
Jaden Lewis throws, and this is going to be incomplete. What is Brown? I thought it was Jaden. So third and six for the Bobcats. 5-11 left to play here. King on the carry again. King picks up a few, gets a first down. I'll tell you the stadium works. First and 10 from the 17. Brown hands us off to Bland. Bland <laughs> gets up to the one. Still fighting. He got up to the one. <laughs> Huffs up again. Got to be careful. First and goal from the one. <laughs> I don't know why did you stand like that. Did you see that? I don't know. Down to 408. And counting? <laughs> Weird. Bland didn't understand why they called him down. <laughs> That's what happens when you get tackled. <laughs> Zaya. Your knee hit. <laughs> it hits the ground. It's where you stay. Brown under center. Just back. Here comes Bland again. Bland blast in. Touchdown. Bobcats. With 346 left to play here. Bobcats are in the end zone again. I don't know. Some people, I don't know. Stadium workers just carrying on a conversation right <laughs> next to the field mic. I know, right? Right next to our field to mic. To the crowd mic. It's like, dudes, shh. <laughs> Unless you're going to pick up a microphone and talk. <laughs> We don't have a holder out there. I know. Placentia is supposed to have a free kick this? That has happened. I have seen that. Timeout, Referio. Now we're ready. Time in. <laughs> the full 30 seconds on this timeout, I believe. <laughs> 3.46 left of play here. And poor Placentia standing out there without a holder. Whitmire showed up after the timeout was called. Snap it to him. Let him run it in. Welcome to the game, Mr. Whitmire. <laughs> <laughs> He's over here getting some water. Yeah, he said, I was thirsty. Placentia's kick is up and good. 53 to seven now the lead by Referio with 346 left to play here at Heroes. We'll be right back right after this NFHS. Stay with us. Back here in Hero Stadium, 3.46 left to play, 53 to seven, Referio leads. Oh 
Placencia set to kick it back over to Ganado. Guerrero and Pena down around their 10. So I guess the first half of Thanksgiving jitters has been gotten over. Placencia's kick is Headley, he's got to pick it up and bring it out now from the end zone. And they blow a whistle. They're going to blow it dead. They're going to say it's a touchback. Really? He touched the ball and it went into the end zone. I don't understand it. I don't either. This will be first and 10. Ganado from their own 25. 342 left to play here. Has the Shiner game gotten back underway, or do we know? I yet? don't believe so. They're saying 935 start time. Oh, really? Wow. Start the second half. That must be one heck of a thunderstorm. Well, you got to wait 30 minutes every time a lightning strike. Yeah. That could have changed by now. He called a fair catch, and it went out, and he got it out of the end zone. So by rule, it's first and 10 from their own three. Now we're going to stop the play again. Looks like Shiner and, and Flatonia got back started, but another lightning strike for the 30 minutes. So they had to stop again. Yes. <laughs> wow. And I think it's, what, within 10 miles? Something like that. They have to stop. That light will reach out and grab you. Yes, it will. It electrifies you. <laughs> you want the game to be electrifying, but you don't want your just, players. Just hope those guys up there are safe. So first and ten from the three. Run near the near side here. Dylan Holt. To keep the clock running. Brings it out to the 16-yard line. Clock is down to 3.30 and counting. Tosses the ball to the far side. This is caught. That is Kane Hayden snagging that and getting up to the 25-yard line. So going to bring up second and about two for the Indians. Clock down to three minutes and counting. Trips to the near side for Ganado. Guerrero throws to the far side. This is caught and no. dropped it. Caught and dropped. So incomplete. So that will bring up a third and two for the Indians. Trips to the near side again for Ganado. Look up to the line. Hand off, up the middle. And this run will get them up to the 31. Holt on the carry. First and 10 from the 31. 240 and counting, left to play here. Hurry up offense, full receiver set. Holt again, Holt will drag a couple of Bobcats up to about the 37. That will bring up a second and four. And Oops, back on the is. line again. Quick defense. Pass out to the left. This is caught at the 40. First down. That's complete to Landon Hicks. Uh, Landon Hicks will get it up to about the 44. First and 10. Landon. Hasn't been around. We haven't heard said his name very much. Guerrero throws it deep. He has a man open. Caught by Hicks. And he is brought down around the 10. Hicks slow to get up. It'll be first and 10. Our first and goal from the 10 for Ganado with a minute 30 and counting. 
hair. As to the far side, this is caught. No incomplete, caught it out of bounds. I don't know. So the second and goal from the 10. What do you don't know? I don't know. It looked like it got a foot down. But, you know, I'm blind in one eye over here. Yeah, and we're a long ways away, and that's the other side <laughs> of the field. <laughs> that ref was closer. <laughs> Pass to the – ooh. It had to bend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to reach up and grab that. Way high pass. Incomplete. Third and goal from the 10. Minute 14 left to play. And Guerrero will throw it to the end zone again. And a little bit ahead of his receiver intended there for Kane Hayden in the end zone. Wide open in the end zone. Just a little bit out of his reach. Fourth and goal from the 10. Seems like we've been here before. Fourth and goal. <laughs> for the fourth and goal from the one. And it was stopped. So now we have fourth and goal from the 10. Guerrero. Get one last shot at the end zone here. Clock down to four seconds on the play clock. Gets it off, throws to the corner again, and this is incomplete. All right. Eight. Incomplete, ball goes over, first and 10, Referio from their own 10. 104 left to play, I think a couple of knees will do it here. I think so. You can hear Coach Herring screaming yeah, from here. <laughs> you can hear that yell. That was Coach Herring down on the field. <laughs> and the car alarm going off in the parking lot. Herring's voice set it off. <laughs> Herring yelled so loud it set off a car alarm. Does it think it's yours? I don't know. Yours is right next to mine. <laughs> First and 10. So victory formation here, one knee down. One more ought to do it. Well, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. I know. <laughs> Ran out to the parking lot to check it. Oh, did you? <laughs> did you really? No. Oh, my God. There's a window behind me. Yes, there's a big window behind us. <laughs> and there it oh, is. Oh, almost a safety there. And that should do it. Yeah, he's almost out in the end zone. That will be it here from Hero Stadium. Referio pulls out the regional semifinal championships. 53 to 7. We're glad you were able to join us for Billy Swinney, Ryan Linney for NFHS. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night, folks.